money yes money and your currency is short chain fatty acids remember this till the end of the video the playground where these short chain fatty acids will be transacted is the surface of your intestine an area so vast that it is the size of three soccer fields and at the same time covered by a thin sheet of cells resembling cellophane fathom this how can an area so vast exist in your abdomen this vast playground lies in your intestine more specifically your small intestine and colon to start with the small intestine itself is a tube which is really long about 22 feet long to be more specific it is arranged in a tight coil in the abdomen and therefore it is able to pack itself in a very small space the hollow of this tube is known as a lumen through which the food you ingest passes the innermost layer of the intestine adjoining the lumen is thrown into many folds known as villi which in turn have even smaller projections which form a brush like surface known as microvilli these projections exist to increase the surface area of the intestine by almost 600 fold to enable effective absorption of nutrients can you imagine that the structure of your small intestine is so intricate that it provides such a large surface area for the absorption in a tiny cavity remember the thin cellophane membrane where a short chain fatty acids will be transacted this layer is comprised of cells known as enterocytes in the small intestine and as colonocytes in the colon beneath this lies your immune system punctuating this lining of cells are also a few other type of cells goblet cells for example that secrete mucin which provides yet another barrier of protection to your gut lining besides this there are also panet cells and neuroendocrine cells more on these cells though on a later video for now though i need you to imagine and appreciate this vast area which is practically in contact with the outer environment if it were not for this delicate single layer of cells providing a barrier so where does the microbiome play into this your gut microbiome is a collection of trillions of microorganisms predominantly bacteria these live in folds and crypts created by the villi and microvilli picture this a gigantic number of bacteria living in their own little caves surrounded by mucus happily contributing to your health so much so that almost half the cells of your body are not your own they belong to these bacteria your friends but why are these bacteria of the gut microbiome so important and how do they contribute to your immunity they do so by digesting food and providing you with short chain fatty acids more specifically they digest fiber and resistant starch to produce short chain fatty acids these short chain fatty acids are predominantly butyrate along with acetate propionate and others the short chain fatty acids are utilized as a source of energy for your enterocytes the thin physical barrier protecting you from the outside world so understand the sequence you eat fiber which nourishes the gut bacteria which produces short chain fatty acids to nourish the enterocytes without this food that is a short chain fatty acids your enterocytes would degrade and cause a break in the lining of your gut leading to various inflammatory disorders like leaky gut amongst other gut inflammatory disorders if the bacteria here do not get their food they will resort to consuming mucin and enterocytes in order to survive further compounding the issue so essentially a lack of appropriate nutrition for your gut microbiome translates not only into the breaking of your physical protective barrier to the outside world but also to a state of chronic inflammation a word here to differentiate between chronic inflammation and acute inflammation inflammation itself is an immune response which activates various cells and starts a sort of chemical warfare in your body to heal the concerned area an example of acute inflammation would be what you experience after a long run or after an intense exercise session at the gym this is an intentionally induced inflammation and keeps your immune system ticking The beauty of this intentionally inflicted inflammation such as in exercise is that it only lasts for a short while and it is followed up by a number of anti-inflammatory processes this sort of primes your immune responses and keeps them in working order on the other hand chronic inflammation is purely pathologic for example smoking causes a constant state of disrepair and repair this similar state of chronic inflammation can occur if you do not provide your gut bacteria with the nutrition it requires This chronic inflammation correlates to a myriad of metabolic disorders, autoimmune disorders and cancers. Think of diseases like obesity, hypertension, type 1 diabetes and of course colon cancers. Your goal for a healthy microbiome is to have as diverse a microbiome as possible. And as you might have guessed, 
fiber is your best friend fiber is gotten from plant sources in fact every single plant gives its own unique microbiome profile your goal is to center your eating habits with as many different whole plants as possible these will include vegetables fruit nuts and seeds you see there are actually around 300000 plants that are edible however in today's modern world we notice only a few handful in our markets this is probably due to the pressures on the farmers to grow crops which have a quick yield so the onus is on each and every one of us to explore new options of whole plant foods although most of us do not like our vegetables i am sure we can find a handful that we can enjoy in the modern world we would find it difficult to consume more than 15 different whole plants in a day this is woefully low and we have to strive to hit a goal of around 30 varieties of whole plant sources i'd advise you to give yourself a daily plant score give yourself a point for every whole plant source you consume and work your way to getting to a score of about 30 Remember plants not only contribute to your gut microbiome diversity but also provide you with vitamins and minerals. Additionally they give you phytochemicals. Phytochemicals help the immune system fight inflammation and slow down the growth of cancers. Every plant has a unique phytochemical. For example you might have heard about the phytochemical curcumin which has been showing a lot of promise in research which is found in turmeric. It helps fight inflammation. also include sources of resistant starch like legumes beans cooked rice and potatoes resistant starch is slow to digest and ferments in the colon producing large amounts of butyrate the butyrate not only provides nourishment to your colon sites but also actively fights inflammation and most importantly colonic cancers the inclusion of fermented foods has shown the proliferation of at least three or four bacterial strains which contribute to a healthy microbiome I would always include a source of fermented foods in my diet. You see most traditional diets always have had a source of fermented foods although it has become less common after the invention of the refrigerator. For example in Korea they have kimchi. Scandinavian countries have sauerkraut and in India we have our own hummel dosa. So to summarize thus far we should consume a variety of whole plants, legumes, seeds, nuts beans and fermented foods in other words simplicity is the key and fat diets in general will not be conducive to a healthy gut microbiome a thing to note here though it has been found that undernourishment has a negative impact on your gut microbiome similarly if you over consume calories also this reduces the diversity and quality of your microbiome so here too calories are king and it will appear that a healthy microbiome follows a bell curve with a sweet spot somewhere in between where you do not overeat or undereat calories that said if you are consume a diet of mostly whole plants you will find it very difficult to overeat a much underlooked factor for a healthy gut microbiome is sleep i'd respect the circadian rhythm the circadian rhythm is described as a natural cycle of physical mental and behavioral changes that the body goes through in a 24 hour cycle it is affected by light and darkness so pay special attention to your sleep hygiene look to go to bed early and wake up early do click here for a fermented food recipe signing out dr rohan sanseka